our next talk is now from Luis Leo. He's the uh, founder of the Omni, Omni Network. Um, I think he has been around in crypto for a very long time, more than 11 years. Um, he told me earlier today that he bought his first Bitcoin for under $100. So um, he also has tried out a lot of other platforms already. He worked on um, Polkadot, on Solana, and, and Chainlink, etc., and now settled down on uh, the internet computer. So I'm really looking forward uh, to your talk, uh, Luis. The stage is yours. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Uh, good afternoon. Uh, so I'm Luis uh, from Omniti. Uh, I will present the Omniti's work which is the living pool of uh, chain fusion technology. Uh, so uh, for this part, Omniti work as a Bitcoin to token uh, as a hub. So it can bring Bitcoin asset, BTC itself, rings, ordinance, and print potentially others to all the other blockchain environments where it, it, they are highly effective, highly programmable blockchain, so they can deal with Bitcoin assets in a very creative way. And uh, uh, of course, we, we try to do that in a fully decentralized manner, uh, or we call it fully on-chain manner. And uh, it, yeah, I, I, I apologize for the messy of the diagram. And uh, all the green box uh, canister uh, built and deployed by Omnity. And uh, there, there is a canister called Omnity Hub sitting in the middle. So we are in a hub and spoke topology. And for each uh, blockchain, we have a spoke canister to do the adaptation. Essentially, it's a, a RPC, RPC uh, migration based on HTTP outcore and adapt to their uh, uh, transaction uh, construction and uh, signature scheme. And uh, but for, on the Bitcoin side, we call this special spoke Bitcoin gate. It, it will it, it rely on the Bitcoin native integration, and some of you have been familiar with it's a dedicated subnet that connect. Uh, uh, I think it essentially merge itself with Bitcoin network, and the subnet will reach consensus on the which is the canonical chain uh, of Bitcoin. And, uh, to, but, but f so by, by this native integration, essentially any canister on ICP can read and write Bitcoin network in, 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 without any uh, centralized intermediary. Uh, our work is bring additional component or indexer. It's, uh, uh, let's say, the, 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 uh, the official indexer from KC Rodemos team, who is the inventor of Ordinus and Rings, and we migrate to it to uh, IC environment. So essentially, all the uh, canister on IC can now can can fuel the uh, can get this uh, event stream from. Uh, ordinance and rings meta protocol. So people can deposit their rings token to uh, uh, address that controlled by Chinky subnet. And uh, the, uh, the old indexer will notify the Bitcoin gates that uh, these guys want to transfer their uh, rings asset to a destination chain. And this crossing message will go ahead to Omni Hub and route it to the specific spoke uh, canister. And on, on the other direction, the ones uh, user want to uh, redeem their asset back, this spoke will, uh, <coughs> will be that will be triggered and verify the destination, uh, the source chain based on on-chain like client verification. So once again, fully uh, trustless, fully on-chain without involve any 
off-chain relayer, any off-chain component, so the asset can be uh, can be can be redeemed back to uh, Bitcoin layer one. And of course, this uh, between all these connected blockchain, the Bitcoin asset can be transferred, can be roaming around without back to uh, Bitcoin layer two, uh, Bitcoin layer one. So the <clears throat> and the, the the merit of uh, augmented interoperability stack is the cost and the latency has been uh, minimized. We uh, we offer the uh, let's say a comparable user experience with uh, centralized bridge. We all keep the high standard of uh, trustlessness. So it's fully on chain verification and relaying. And since all the cross chain transfer will through the hub, so the, all the token will not uh, lose fundability on any target blockchain. So based on this stack, we have connected with, uh, of course, Bitcoin ICP and uh, some major uh, EVM compatible uh, Bitcoin layer 2, B layer, B EVM, B square, Malin, um, Bob, and uh, OKX. X layer, and we are working on uh, the adaptation to Cosmos, Solana, and Tom. So any of you working on the interoperability with all this blockchain, we can share our workload and happy to uh, to, to, to share our uh, uh, implementation and uh, uh, lessons learned. So uh, the. Uh, the protocol itself is fully open source, fully audited, and you can find it on our uh, GitHub repo. Uh, we come up with a very easy to use ski app called Red Envelope. It's the first uh, living uh, ring ski app on, on the internet, so people can send out Red Envelope, which contains some rings in the Telegram group, and with, with, a, with a only one click, uh, the, 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 a common user without required, re, without, uh, let's say, any wallet or any gas token can be a holder of Bitcoin rings. It's, um, let's say, a zero friction experience to onboard user to ICP, to Web3. And thanks to the support from uh, from uh, our ecosystem partner and uh, ICP Harvest, we we we, we brought uh, 30,000 uh, 30, new user to ICP in in, in two months. And uh, so uh, so Omnity uh, stack uh, inability stack support cross chain transfer crossing burn, which means uh, people can burn their uh, Bitcoin rings by a transaction on layer two. And also, uh, uh, a crossing mint and the crossing etching will uh, not coming soon. We have onboard uh, crossing minting, and uh, so I prepared this uh, slide a few days ago. So for, for any, uh, Layer two protocol, they can issue a token on Bitcoin layer one, and then add this token by themselves to our community bridge and call on their uh, their community to mint this new token directly on layer layer two. So their their users do not need to bother with Bitcoin uh, gas or Bitcoin wallet. All the things happen on Bitcoin layer, layer two. You issue, uh, uh, you call the interface of Omnity protocol, and uh, the, the the mint will happen on Bitcoin layer one, and uh, it, it, the, the and then the it will automatically trigger the cross chain process, and the asset will arrive on the specific on the on the big layer two address specified by the user. So it's a great way for any layer two project 
to uh, to to engage with their community with Bitcoin rings, and also uh, since the the protocol interface is there, the layer two protocol can compose with with Omnity protocol directly. So layer one, layer two, will is fused as a whole. Uh, so I think it's the essence of chain fusion technology. All the blockchain work uh, like a whole to fit the requirements both from the end user and uh, application developers. Uh, that's all, all my talk. Uh, so if you ha you think uh, uh, amenities can uh, can can be used useful to your project or you can share something with us. Do, do not hesitate to, to contact me. Thank you very much. Mm. Mm. Mm.